So the next, what came out of this in, in the early 2000s, we began to focus more on leadership training. We said, if this is important, we need to get all of our leaders to understand it. We had leaders who maybe been in positions for 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, had old habits, old ideas, as we all have in, in our organizations, and it was a time to start getting people to understand the new way, so to speak, okay? So we started with some outside training vendors that were a pretty good fit, and then we started developing our own classes where we began to teach values and ethics and things like that ourselves. And I would suggest this to you. If you want to have a strong set of values in your company, have your leaders teach it, okay? Most of us understand, and I think they say that if you're gonna, uh, you need to hear something about eight times before you get it. But you know, what they say is if you hear something and then you teach it, you get it much quicker. So one of the things we've done is had our leaders teach um, these leadership values and our core values. So we put together a leadership development program. Now, this hasn't all happened overnight. It started in the mid-2000s, and we've continued to grow and add classes as we've We've done this, and um, there are currently three levels of classes. I was in Lincoln last Friday teaching this uh, Mastering Business Acumen class. Uh, it's, great, it's, a, it's, it's a great investment that we do, but it is a big investment of time and money for our people. So let's talk about these values at work, okay? Swedish proverb here, a good friend of mine gave me. I hope it's a Swedish proverb. It sounds good. Um, in calm waters, every ship as a good captain. Yeah. And obviously, the idea there is it takes a good storm to really prove who's good. Right? And we prove our leadership and we prove our connection to those values when the times get tough, right? And every day as you go through um, struggles and, and challenges and economies ups and downs and customer issues, your attachment to those values is, has to be proven. And so as leaders, we have to remind ourselves, well, how should we handle this? What would our values say? You know, what's the right thing to do? And so the storms help us get stronger as we, <coughs> as we work through this culture issue. Okay? 